pull it together. You confused me. Now it's all over. I'm not going to understand it now. You messed me up. Sales tax. This is the sales tax form. So if I go into the sales tax form or number or GL transaction report, then these are going to be invoices and the sales receipts. So this went up through January here. So the, in terms of our running balance, this is the amount that we might owe in February, right? And then we're going to let the running balance for February uh, continue to accumulate upward would be the general idea. So we are in essence going to write a check for the sales tax that has accumulated up uh, through January in our practice in our practice problem. I'm just going to do that with like a normal uh, kind of of check or money out spend money type of form. Uh, I'm actually going to do two checks, which hopefully add up to this amount because I'm going to break out the locations between the local and the state in accordance with what I have in my practice problem, because in essence, I want the bank feeds to tie out when we get to the bank feeds in a future course or section. All right. So I'm just in essence going to write two checks or have money out type forms. So I'm going to go, uh, let's go to the drop down and we're going to say spend money. More money is being spent. It's coming out of the checking account, going to the government. More money's being spent, going to the government. And so this is going to, I'm going to call this the city. I'm going to make a city tax, California. I'm just making a generic. This is who I would have to pay. And, and you know, I'm in California, so this isn't the actual state uh, tax sales tax collection place, but I'm just making it generic. That's the point. This is going to be as of the end of Feb, Feb 28. Uh, Feb 28 is the date. I'm going to make it a check. And then I'm going to go down and say that this is going to go to, I'll just say this is going to pay for Jan sales tax. And I'm going to make this amount for 1875.09. And it's going to go to the sales tax liability account decreasing that liability account all right so what's this going to do it's going to be a money spend money form decreasing the checking account the other side going to the liability account not an expense account decreasing the liability uh account all right and i'm gonna i'm gonna write another one as well so i'm gonna save and another thank you state for taking my money may i have another and we're gonna say save and the state's like yeah you can hit you can have enough but we can hit you all night long with taxes we can tax you till the moon and back so this is going to be let's call this the state sales sales tax california and uh, we'll make another tab on that one so we have the city and state is is this is a generic vendor but that's the idea we're going to bring this back to February 28th and this is going to be uh, 1 and 468.77 and once again sales tax the pay the liability account is the account that we're going to hit on that one so this will be a check decreasing the cash account other side going into the liability let's save it and that have you had enough have you had enough now i'll tell you when he's had enough i've had enough no more taxes I, we're gonna go then okay let's go to the balance sheet we scroll down on the balance sheet we've got the check-in account if we go into the check-in and check it out we're gonna scroll down and we see of course the two checks that uh we have written so here they are right there boom boom and then i'm going to go back up and then the other side not going to the income statement but rather decreasing the liability for sales tax so if i go down there's the sales tax we're down to 55369 it didn't go down to zero we didn't pay the full amount off because we only paid the amount off for january so if i go into that we can see the detail so i'm going to say all right let's check it out then scrolling down uh, we see the activity we owed at the end of the January that two, three, four, three, eighty-five. So let's pull out the trustee calculator, 
just to uh, check out some stuff here. Trusty calculator. Uh, we have these two payments we made down here. 1875.09 plus 468.77. And that adds up to the that 234385. Uh, it's off by a penny, but that's cool. That's just rounding, man. That's just rounding. So then the sales that we made in February, we have not yet paid yet, right? So that's going to be this 110 plus 104.7 plus 244 plus 65 plus 30. There's the five, the five, five, three, 69 off by a penny. That's cool. That's not, I'm not going to let that bother me, even though I'd like it to be like, why? Why is it? Okay, it's okay. Doesn't need to be perfect. So in any case, that's what we'll pay for February sales that happen. I'm going to go back that happened in, uh, we'll pay it in March for the sales that happened in February. Notice on the income statement, again, we didn't, we paid that money and, and you're going to say, well, why don't I have an expense for it? Why don't I have an expense? I should get a deduction for my income taxes in the, if you're in the United States. No, because you didn't record the revenue in there either. If you have a system where you did record the revenue in sales, then you got to figure something out because you, you, in essence, you should remove the revenue from the sales. But generally the idea would be that both the revenue and the expenses are off income statement on balance sheet in the sales tax uh, payable account. That's the idea. That's the idea. Let's open up the trial balance and see where we stand at this point in time. Tap into the right accounting drop down we want to go into the reports and type in trial balance to call up the trial balance you just type in its name and the trial balance appears you got to be careful with what you type into the magic keyboard things just show up once you type it in there and so we're going to say this is going to go custom date 2023 and okay update it so that's what we have. And uh, if your numbers tie out to these numbers, great. If not, if you were in balance last time or you tied out to us last time, you were on before, but you're off now, then what we changed, we, cha we made a change to the checking account and we made a change to the sales tax uh, account. You would think those would be the adjusted amounts. Uh, so you can, uh, you can uh, expand the date range, see if that's a date issue and then drill down to the source documents and possibly make changes to correct whatever needs correcting from there.